Thank you. All right, so this is my AWS uh, Workspaces desktop. And it's, uh, as you can see, it's running the ZPA client right here. And um, as you can see, I've been recently reading up on the NIST 800-207 documentation because it's fantastic, great stuff. Um, but now I actually have to get to work. I have to do something. So I need to get access to a shared app that's running in AWS. So all I have to do really is uh, click on a link, right? And now it's a test page, but we can see is this is uh, an EC2 internal. This is an internal DNS name that I can connect it to. The key thing to understand here, I am in my own Isengard account now, and I'm accessing an EC2 app that's in a different account. I have no idea where it is. It's somewhere in the Zscaler network, right? But it's on AWS. I didn't have to make any changes to get access to this internal application. I just had to click on a link, and all the other stuff was handled behind the scenes, uh, building out connectors and applications, right? So say I have to get my work done here. I do a couple things. And then next thing I know, I need to go to uh, somewhere on the internet for some other collaborative type of application. So now I can click on another link and you can see I'm at a completely different location, right? And this is something in a, somewhere else, somewhere on the internet. So I can go to the, a different application, get to different locations, do what I need to do. And now let's say that uh, as I'm going through my job, I, I'm told that I need to get access to some data because there's a, a critical document that I need to read. So I can actually just uh, map network drives. So if I go here and I can map my network drive, so a Windows Server internal cloud app, right? And so now this is going across the internet. We don't really know exactly where it's going, but now I have different, I have access and I have to go through and review some documentation to get my job done. And uh, the key thing here to show is that through all this stuff, I didn't have to change my processes at all, right? And that's a key part that really matters for customers. But for this, from the security perspective, uh, the part that matters as well is, let's take a look at uh, Nmap. So Nmap is a tool that you can do to do port scanning and to look for uh, IP, uh, and IP addresses and ports that are available on your network. All right, so I'm gonna move this document out so you can see uh, the different things we're looking at. Um, so if you look at the web server internal uh, cloud app, so let's say I'm going there and I'm gonna do an intent scan on that server. If you're in a VPN product, you're typically gonna see multiple ports, maybe multiple IP addresses. But what you end up seeing is that there is nothing. It's showing that there's servers down, they, they're trying to get access to it, but there's nothing there. So. If you go into the command line, you can look into your, your DOS prompt and you can look at your routes. You won't see any routes coming through a tunnel that you can do lateral movement through. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to show is just, you do have the, the increased security. It's shown through the end map that you can go through any one of these things, the file shares, anything, and you're not gonna get access to anything because it's focused on the application layer and that's much better for the, the end customer. It's much better for the AWS account teams to help support them. And it does help remove migrations, uh, blockers to migrations in AWS.